Hello everyone, no Chocolate Bird here for another video review. This time we have the Lint White Chocolate Gold Bunny. It's little bell. <laughs> there you go. But, well, I think it's just a, an accessory they do, isn't it? Really? I mean, it says somewhere, I'm sure it says um, in Sainsbury's where I bought them, where it says a free limited edition um, bell or something or whatever, collar with a bell on it or something like that. I was like, <laughs> I was like not really that much that special, is it really? But, um, but anyway, it's a gimmick that they have. Um, there we go. So this is the middle one. There's a smaller one than these you can get. This is the mid-sized one. I don't know how heavy the small one is. I'm assuming it's probably 50 grams. This is a 100 gram one. There is a 200 gram big massive one. So there we go. Uh, that's the dark chocolate one which I'll be reviewing shortly. I've, I couldn't find it in a smaller size. Uh, I would have got the smaller one. This one. <laughs> so it's a bit excessive. But there we are. And you do we've just been complete. This is a milk chocolate one as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, nice, nice design. I think these are kind of like a, a, a sort of an, an Easter staple, I guess you'd say. They're always available at Easter. They're quite expensive. I mean, this one's like three pound fifty or something, which is extortionate. Um, <laughs> I think this one's probably, I don't know. I don't know really. I wonder if this one was three pound fifty and this one's like five pounds. I'm not sure. Hmm, I hope I didn't pay that much for it. But um, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure maybe well at least two pounds. I would have said. I don't know, but any expensive anyway. So what does it say on the bottom? So it says uh, bells and ribbons. It says, are for decorative purposes and not not toys. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, surely, surely, surely the carrot should be not food. I mean, <laughs> I mean, sure you can play with it. I mean, I'm playing with it now, aren't I? You know, it's eating it that would be the problem. Uh, it just says white chocolate. So there we go. Sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, skim milk powder, emulsifier, flavoring vanilla. It's got vanilla flavoring in it. Or vanilla, in, vanilla, in, vanilla, in? vanilla. In. May contain hazelnuts and other nuts. May contain nuts, basically. <laughs> Why is this? May contain hazelnuts and other nuts. I don't know. Um, but there we go. Okay, so what does it say on the size? So we've got per 100 grams. So it is a 100 gram bunny. So it's 572 calories. I think 36 grams of fat, 22 of which are saturated. So I think it's 36. There's a slight crease in it. Um, but yeah, 572 calories for this bunny. There we go. So it looks quite nice, I like the way, I mean it's slightly ruined slightly by the, the fact it's got the nutrition information on there but on this side it just says the uh, gold bunny white chocolate. And clearly because it's got a nice white ribbon on it as well rather than the, the red one and the dark and the brown one. There we go. Yeah, but they've all got those bells. Same design in each of them of course, yeah. Um, it's slightly, not quite symmetrical because the ears are slightly different but that's about it I think. And the face is looking slightly to one side as well. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think we better open it. And the bow doesn't really come off. It's sort of tied on quite well. <laughs> um, I'm going to slide it off the head. There we go. And so sealed there with a sort of crease here. Quite a nice premium feeling product. It does feel quite premium, I have to say, even though it probably cost pence to make. Um, no real good way of taking it off. I'm going to peel the bottom off here. That's <coughs> probably the best way to do it, maybe. Well, let's find out. There we go, so. <clears throat> there we are. So, quite um, plain on the inside. Still detail on the, still see the eyes. It's quite a nice shape. It's, it's quite plain. I did just review um, uh, uh, Ferrero Rocher Squirrel, <laughs> their equivalent of this, basically. Um, and it did feel a bit more detailed on the actual squirrel of it. I've kind of crushed it all up now. <laughs> but there's a few more details. This is quite a smooth, minimalist look. But I think it's done on purpose, really. I don't feel like it feels like it's missing anything. Quite a subtle seam, flat bottomed. There we go. Yeah, so there we are. So unfortunately, there's no real way to go about it. Is I've got to snap the head off or something, so let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So it breaks with your fingers, really. So when, it kind of, when I was pushing it, it broke there. Um, you can see it's quite thick chocolate on the inside in some places, but thin on the others. It has a nice white chocolatey smell, but maybe that's more of a vanilla smell, I don't know really. Get so used to it. I think a lot of white chocolate has vanilla st stuck into it. Just reviewed a Willy's Cacao a Blanco, uh, which didn't have any vanilla flavour in it. Um, so go check out that review if you fancy, but uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. I should have probably measured it, shouldn't I really? I didn't. <laughs> Uh, but luckily it does fit together reasonably well, yeah, so I can still measure it. Um, so width for the bottom, four and a half centimetres roughly, maybe slightly more in some places. Height, about eleven and a half to the top of the ears from the bottom. And width roughly, 
width of its bum, <laughs> about four and a half centimeters, roughly something like that. Okay, right, let's give it a lift up. Don't think there's much more to say, it looks quite nice. We've got to see how it tastes. I'm quite expecting it to taste a bit of a standard white chocolate affair, really. Um, hello, everyone, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so <coughs> we shall see. It's quite thin in places, which you know, it makes it a bit of disappointing to. Doesn't feel quite as um, premium as it could do if it was a bit thicker, I guess, but yeah. Anyway, let's give it a, let's give it a try. Hmm, yeah. This is better, it's quite um standard white chocolate really. Um hmm. it's quite nice. It doesn't seem to be taste too sickly. A lot of white chocolates are uh, uh, well, yeah, a lot of white chocolates may, may have a bit of a sickly taste to me. Uh, I'm catching my throat a bit. Can't eat too much of them. This one, hmm, vanilla flavour is quite subtle, and it's not let's say overly um, overly sickly, but it's still got quite a creamy thickness to it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I quite like it, I think it's quite a nice uh, white chocolate. I'm a bit sickly now after I've had a couple of bites of it. Obviously you probably won't want to eat the whole thing anyway, it's nearly 500 calories or whatever. Mm. Mm. But yeah, not too bad, I think, yeah, I think the sickliness is lower than some other white chocolates, or at least the fact that I've, mm. the way I've been eating it has, has resulted in that maybe, but I mean, you know, still a 100 gram bar. Probably had um, I don't know, a quarter of it or something already, maybe a fifth. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it works quite well. I think it's not too sickly. Yeah. Hmm. It's quite a nice white chocolate. It's got a bit of a vanilla taste into it, but nothing overly so, I don't think. I wouldn't say. It's starting to get a bit sickly now. It's got that sort of catching on the throat taste that a lot of white chocolates have for me. Um, but, as I say, not overly so. I think it's a nice white chocolate. It has a strange, strange um, taste to it, which I can't quite make out. I'm not sure what it is. It's only a very subtle taste, but something a bit subtle um, that's coming across. But I don't know what it is really. It's not a necessarily a bad thing. It just tastes a bit odd. Mm, maybe a bit chemically. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe just me that. So maybe ignore it. But um, yeah, um, I do like it. I think uh, I think this is a nice white chocolate. This. Um, I said that though, I mean, my favourite was actually uh, Nestle's Milky Bar. Um, they, they've done it, I think they, um, one of my regular viewers, uh, Andrew Winton, was saying that they'd changed the recipe or something. And um, I don't, I mean, I must admit, you know, <laughs> you'd think I'd be a connoisseur, but I wasn't a enough, big enough expert on uh, Nestle white chocolate. Maybe I needed them side by side, something to tell. But I couldn't tell the difference. Um, but I could tell the fact that I really enjoyed their white chocolate. The Nestle Milky Bar was really nice. Um, you know, it was a big, it was a block one. It wasn't a small tab one you can get. It was a nice big block one where you can snap off blocks. It's really nice actually. Um, and I really highly rated that. And I don't think this is quite as good as that. Um, but it might just be because the way it's presented, you know, eating little chunks like this doesn't quite work as well. But it is quite thick in some places, which is nice. Hmm. The feet is quite thick. Hmm. Yeah. I think for me, I think. Uh, yeah. I like it. I've got a good solid four out of five, I think. Hmm. You know, if you love a white chocolate, I think this would be well up your street. I mean, well, obviously, I mean, it goes without saying. So I think you'd probably give it a four and a half or a five out of five. I mean, for me, though, <clears throat> perhaps it's just not quite there. And as I said, there is that sort of slight odd taste going on. It's going to have the feet. Hmm. Well, I can't quite place. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it works quite well. It's not made me feel. <coughs> excuse me. It made me feel. Um, my voice is a bit weird. <laughs> That's the chemical going on in the chocolate. <laughs> <coughs> okay, is my voice back. Yeah, my voice is back. Okay. Yeah. So um, hmm, that was weird. Um. Yeah. So I think uh, it's it's yeah it's got like a funny, a funny taste going on in it. Maybe it's. I don't helium or something that's been stuck in. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. So but anyway. All that side, maybe it's just me, but a four out of five, I think. I really like it. Really nice, quite thick in places, thin in others, which is a shame. Um, but overall, nicely presented, a nice treat, something a bit different as well. And uh, there we go, four out of five. <laughs> okay, guys, so I enjoyed that review. If you want to subscribe to my videos, um, leave a comment or three. Follow me as well, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later.
Bye. <laughs> See ya.